Hey everyone, welcome back to Comfortable Spaces. My name is Danielle and I love to talk about affordable living and intentional homemaking and I'm so grateful to have you back on the channel. Today we are going to be talking about our kitchen remodel. Now when I say kitchen remodel, what I truly mean is a cosmetic remodel. We did not take out any of our cabinets, we did not replace any of the appliances. However, we have replaced the refrigerator a couple years ago. It was actually, I think, the first year of our marriage and I talked all about that in our How We Afford Large Appliances video and I will link that below if you've not had a chance to see that video yet. But we did a full cosmetic remodel of our kitchen over the past few years and I absolutely love how it came out. Now when we first bought this house uh, just over nine years ago now, the kitchen was fine. We actually really liked the kitchen. It was very bright and airy. It had just a nice flow to it, it felt like, and it had some nice character too. There was a lot of beautiful molding all over it. It had an exposed brick wall on the one side where a fireplace had been, like a chimney situation um, had been at one point, and we really loved the design of it. And it was one of the things that actually sold us on this house. However, there were definitely updates that we wanted to do to make it feel more like our own. There was no backsplash. The colors were definitely not our colors. The colors were like a limish, sort of light Easter eggy green and a pale buttercup yellow. And there's nothing wrong with those colors. They're just not my color. It made everything in there look and feel yellow. And I just, like I've said before in multiple other videos, like more of those beachy tones. So we wanted to kind of transition into a lighter brighter kitchen even though it was already light and bright we wanted to give it some different colors and we also wanted to add some little high-end pieces that would make it look that much better so with all that being said let's get into the video and i will go over all the different updates and changes that we need in our kitchen so the very first update that we actually made was our kitchen fan when we bought our kitchen, the fan was old and outdated. And honestly, it kind of sounded and felt like it was gonna fall apart at any minute. So we had had the same fan in the kitchen for about five years before we decided to update it. And so our bathroom on our second floor is directly above our kitchen. And there would be times where the floor of the bathroom would actually be shaking because it felt like this fan was going to fall right off of the ceiling. The screws were all coming loose. It just was not in good condition. And like I said, it was outdated, so we wanted to update it. So the very first thing we did was we went over to Home Depot and we bought a beautiful new fan. Not only did we get something that we felt like like had a little bit more updated character to it and would fit the space nicely but we also got something with a little bit more power to it as well because we wanted to be able to make sure that when the fan was on high mode in the kitchen it helped to air out some of the heat that the oven and the stove let off and also help push the air through from the windows so there's a nice breeze in the kitchen so we wanted to make sure it had a higher power rate as well we actually do not have central air in this house we have ceiling fans and we have um, window units of air conditioning in the summertime and the window unit that we keep for the downstairs floor is in our dining room so it doesn't directly hit the kitchen so the fan was really important to us we wanted to make sure that it was going to be in a good place and it was going to work well for the space so we bought this beautiful fan from Home Depot and I will link it below if you're interested hopefully I think they still have it online and you can go check that out the very next thing we did in this remodel was paint all of the trim. Like I said, the kitchen itself was like a buttercupy yellow and uh, an interesting like kind of, it really wasn't minty green, it was like a limey minty green. It was just not really my favorite color palette. So not only had they colored the, or painted not only had they painted the cabinets as buttercup yellow but they painted all of the trim the buttercup yellow as well and it could be a really nice color 
but it just sort of felt like a like a dingy white again kind of like i had explained in our basement remodel video it just felt dingy and like it needed some refreshing so we put our favorite polar bear white color all over the trim in there and that's exactly what we have here so now the entire downstairs has the same exact trim color in every single room and it looks beautiful I'm so glad that we did it we did a couple of coats of paint over top of the yellow and it came out really nice and it really made the trim pop off the walls and speaking of the walls the next thing we did was paint the walls a beautiful gray color it's actually the same exact color that we got from sherwin williams um, that we used in our bedroom i absolutely love it i do not remember the name of the color but i will definitely link it below so that you know if you're interested i love the way this color came out first of all when we used it originally in our bedroom i think i tried like 50 different grays not to be like 50 shades of gray but seriously i tried like 50 different gray colors all over the walls to try to get the best tone of gray and i wanted something that had an obvious color to it but was very very soft light and muted and that's exactly what i found in this color it looks absolutely beautiful in the kitchen as well and it makes the kitchen look super spacious and super airy so i love the color that we chose for that. Once we got the walls the exact color that we wanted, the next thing that we actually decided to do was to do a tile backsplash. Now, I know that these can cost a lot of money, but actually we saved a ton of money by going to Habitat for Humanities Restore Store. They have huge boxes of tile there, and we got our tile, the entire thing, for I want to say maybe $10 or something like that and we were able to get the entire kitchen done with that I'm so happy that we found this tile it was the exact just white simple subway tile that we wanted at Habitat for Humanity and my husband was able to install it himself so for $10 we were able to get that up there now the tile installation didn't just cost $10 because there was multiple steps to it um, one of them being the grouting the grouting routing and like those little spacer thingies and whatnot they definitely cost a nice little chunk of money I would say I think we spent somewhere around a hundred dollars on all of the grout that we needed but it came out stunning we decided to do a very thick spacer in between all the tiles so there's a nice thick chunk of gray grout it was not a black or white we decided to go with a nice gray to really match the colors of the kitchen and whatnot and I love the way it came out it's super bold super dramatic and it gives some just nice detail to the kitchen we just had a wall before and the previous owners had changed the countertops out and did like that little countertop like I don't know bar thingy of the matching countertop on top of the countertop on the wall and it looked fine it just kind of looked cheap so taking that out and installing the tile ourselves made such a huge difference in the room and like I said that was like I think hundred and ten dollars total for all the supplies so I was really glad that we looked at Habitat for Humanity so if you're interested in doing a project like this definitely look to see if there is a restore store around you we get so many products from them that are so cheap and so helpful in doing different um, projects around the house so after we were done with the painting and the tile we decided to replace the lighting right over the sink for a couple of different reasons one it was an older track lighting system it just again didn't really fit the space anymore and two at one point in time my husband put a light bulb in it that i don't think was the correct wattage and it actually started to chip and melt the uh, coating around the light fixture itself so it looked terrible <laughs> 
it really needed to go and we wanted something to match the fan and this is the funny slash interesting part we went back to home depot to find a light fixture we weren't looking for anything in particular we we're just like let's look around and see what we can find and we found the exact uh, light mount it was like a ceiling light mount that matched our fan it was the exact same style same colors everything so we ended up purchasing that I believe it was about $90 and we stuck that right up on the ceiling and now the entire kitchen li kitchen lighting system looks beautiful it matches it flows well it's kind of like a cagey style look and then has like older Edison looking bulbs in it it looks so cute and I'm really happy with how all of our lighting came out and between the fan and the extra lighting piece I think combined we paid about $210 for the two pieces so again nothing crazy expensive Home Depot is really really good for having uh, decently priced light fixtures that you can put up that still make a space look really stunning so after we got the second light fixture installed, we actually took a break because that is right around the time that we had our first son. And the only thing we could focus on at that point in time was making sure we kept our tiny human alive. <laughs> so we spent several months just hanging out with our son, getting to know him, spending all the time doing all the cuddles and whatnot. And then we decided to come back to our kitchen project a couple of months before Christmas because we were going to be hosting Christmas that year and we wanted to make sure that the kitchen looked done and beautiful and ready for our Christmas party. So the very kind of last thing, it, it's not the last thing, but like the, the big last thing that we did in the kitchen was to repaint all the cabinets. It took my husband a very long time because again, like if you've watched my videos before, I've talked about this multiple times, my husband is a stickler for detail. So he ended up getting a beautiful paint sprayer and he meticulously taped up all of the cabinet openings and whatnot and he sprayed the outside. Actually, I think he rolled the outside of the cabinets with a, a roller and a paintbrush. And then he took the cabinet doors outside and he repainted all of the cabinets. And we decided to go with a two-tone look. This was actually my husband's idea. We saw this um, in like a kitchen model kind of uh, new, not newspaper, not newspaper, magazine, like a kitchen remodel magazine a couple years back. And we just thought it was such an interesting look. So we did a nice dark blue on the bottom that we love. We got the paint from Home Depot. It was called Adirondack Blue. And on the top, we used the white, yes, you guessed it, polar bear white, because we wanted everything to match since all of the trim actually runs into the cabinet tray. Um, so we did the polar bear white on the top and we love the combination. We love how it came out. It was stunning. Like I said, it took my husband quite a while. He sanded down all the glossy yellow paint that had been on the cabinets before. And then he sprayed it all several times, put several coats on it so that it looked super even and nice. And I love, love, love the way that it came out. And then we decided because I'm never the type of person who enjoys to see kind of the same, the same exact thing over and over again. I like to make things a little bit different or have them a little bit or uh, be my own. Instead of going to like a normal Home Depot or kitchen supply place and getting all of our knobs and um, poles and whatnot, we actually decided to go over to Hobby Lobby and we got the cutest little artistic knobs and poles to do over the entire kitchen and I love them. They are stunning. We did a white knob with different colored speckles on the bottom and we did a dark blue knob with different colored speckles on the top so that they're actually the opposite of the cabinet colors. They look so beautiful. And then we got this lovely like brushed brown bronze sort of cup pull, but it had this lovely design through the pull itself. It's just so artistic and it just gives the kitchen a fun little bit of flair. I will link those knobs and pulls in the description below if you're interested in looking at something like that. I believe they still have them at Hobby Lobby because we just got them a few months ago. And uh, yeah, we really love them. They came out beautifully. 
And like I said, that was the last big thing we did in the kitchen, but the very last little thing we did in the kitchen we just did a month ago was replace the faucet to get an oil brush bronze um, faucet. Now, I've talked about the oil brushed, oil rubbed, however you want to call that, oil rubbed bronze. I've talked about that in a couple of my other videos before. I definitely mentioned it in my basement video, which I will also have linked below, but we did all of our knobs and fixtures downstairs in that color. And I'm just trying to keep that consistent look throughout the whole house. So we changed the faucet. The faucet that we had previously was beautiful but it was old and dripping and we weren't able to fix the old faucet as it stood the way it was. So we just ended up purchasing a new faucet and we got a beautiful Moen faucet, brand new, never had been used off of Facebook Marketplace. It is a thousand dollar faucet that we got from a gentleman on Facebook Marketplace for 300 bucks. So we thought that was a fantastic deal. I did not know until we started doing all of this faucet shopping because we also have to change the fixture up in the bathroom as well. I did not know how crazy expensive faucets are. They cost so much money and I'm like, it's just a, I just little, I turn, I turn the knob. I just turn it. That's all I got to do. I don't understand water, water. It just pours out. I don't understand why you're charging me a thousand dollars for that. So I'm really, really grateful that we found that phenomenal deal off of Facebook market. It was the exact piece that I was looking for, that I wanted the exact style that I wanted in the exact color that I wanted. So I'm super glad that we found that and we had that installed by our plumber and it looks stunning. I'm so grateful for how everything came out and it looks absolutely beautiful. So the kitchen overall is just more inviting. It fits the house. So we had repainted the living room and the dining room and the bathroom down here when we first moved in. So everything was the same color palette, everything flowed nicely together. And then the kitchen was sort of this odd ball out, didn't really match the rest of the first floor sort of feel. So I am so grateful that we finally finished this entire kitchen upgrade, remodel, cosmetic upgrade, because it looks so, so beautiful now that we were able to fix it all up. So I just absolutely love it. So that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you maybe got some ideas for your kitchen if you're trying to do a cosmetic upgrade. And the last thing I wanted to say before I end of the video is that we did not do this all in one day. A great way to save money if you wanna update a space or cosmetically update a space is to do it in stages over time. So we did the whole kitchen over the course of four years, starting with the fan first. Well, actually, if you wanna think from the beginning, we started with the fridge first eight years ago, but we took that time and really did little bits and pieces over time. So we never actually put out a lot of money at once. It was like 100 bucks here, 200 bucks there. It was really not that expensive or overwhelming. And we were able to really redo the entire kitchen for, I believe, less than $600 
which I am very, very happy with and grateful for. <laughs> um, so again, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really, really appreciate when you guys tune in and you check out what we have going on. And I have a couple of other fun new videos coming up in a little bit of time. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed. I'm always grateful when we have new subscribers. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you shortly on another video very soon. Have a great day. Bye.